Good evening. In Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, Groundhog Day falls on February the 2nd. That's when the locals pluck a groundhog out of hibernation and, studying its mood, predict the weather for the rest of the winter. Bill Murray, a TV weatherman, his producer Andy McDowell and cameraman Chris Elliott are dispatched to cover this momentous event. Murray, a cynical sourpuss, is bored and jaded. He's been there many times before. But this year it's different. Trapped in Punxsutawney by a blizzard he'd failed to predict, and Michael Hurricane Fish will know just how he feels, he finds that time has stood still and every day is Groundhog Day. Talk about déjà vu. Each morning he wakes at six o'clock, sunny and chair on the radio, bumps into the same obnoxious old schoolfellow, Stephen Tom and goes through the same routine he'd followed on yesterday's Groundhog Day, but of course with variations. It's the old question, if you had to do it all over again, well to begin with Murray becomes even nastier and does it all over everyone else. Armed with his foreknowledge, he being the only one in town who's aware that every day is February the 2nd, he realises that he can do anything he wants. Don't you worry about cholesterol, lung cancer, love handles? I don't worry about anything anymore. What makes you so special? Everybody worries about something. Well, that's exactly what makes me so special. I don't even have to floss. Oh. What? Oh, how enviable. Total self-indulgence without penalty. Anyway, he plans a robbery and a seduction and then, fed up with it all, tries to commit suicide. What is happening is that Murray is being forced to live and relive Groundhog Day until he gets it right, and eventually he does start to get it right. He bustles around doing good like a regular Pollyanna, learns to play the piano, and inevitably begins to fall for Andy McDowell. Can I buy you a drink? Okay. Uh, sweet vermouth, rocks with a twist, please. For you, miss? The same. That's my favorite drink. Mine too. <laughs> It always makes me think of Rome. The way the sun hits the buildings in the afternoon. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. To world peace. World peace. Well, this is an unusual and amusing idea, written by Danny Rubin and directed by Harold Ramis. OK, like the recent weather, it's patchy. Michael Fish or John Ketley indeed might sum it up as sunny and bright with occasional cloudy spells. But the dark moments, alternating with the humour, lend it weight. And Bill Murray, running the gamut of emotions from frustration to rage to genial benevolence, is ideally cast. There's an unpredictable, sometimes even inscrutable edge to his comedy which keeps sentimentality in its place and leaves you wondering what he'll do next. 